Hey, this is Mike. I'm in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, visiting Sparks Toyota. And why am I here? Because they have a 2019 Toyota RAV4 in the XLE trim level. So this one just arrived today. I rushed down here and I wasn't able to film the whole thing, but I'm able to do the lights. So this is interior and exterior lighting overview. Uh, so we can see what it looks like at night. So right now I have the parking lights on because when I turn the turn it all off, it's completely nothing on the outside. So if you want to go stealth mode, you can do that. So right now it has the parking lights on. You can see the amber incandescent bulbs here and your LED, kind of a low LED. I guess that's kind of like a daytime running light uh, brightness, I suppose. It does have a pretty good distance here in this field. So uh, you may mistake these as your headlights. And then it has a side marker. And you can see the tail lights here on the side. And these are right now powered by LEDs, it looks like. And then the tag lights has a dual tag light. So I'm going to switch it to regular low beams right now. And I'm, I turned off the fog light so I don't get this confused. So when I do that, I just turn it to low beams. So with the parking lights, it looks like this. Low beams looks like that. So it's just a, a brighter, the same lights are just brighter. Uh, so now I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the fog lights and the turn signal. So we can see what low beams, fog lights, turn signal. Now the fog lights are halogen bulbs. So they don't have that bright white look like the headlights. They have a yellowish hue, but check out those headlights. They have that scoopy reflector housing. And you can see it's the outer portion that's illuminated now. And the inner portion will be illuminated when I put the uh, high beams on. And then the fog lights are just standard bulbs in there and the reflectors. And the turn signal, you can see it's standard bulb. You can see it fading in and out. You have a side marker here on the side mirror, which is powered by LEDs. You can see it from all sides. And the tail lights, yep, the turn signal is standard bulbs as well. So now I'm gonna put the high beams on. So that's low beams with the fog lights. There's high beams, fog lights turn off. And I'll give you a little bit better view in a second. But fog lights turn off and now the high beams are on. So now all three of those reflector housings are now illuminated. And the fog lights are turned off. Okay, so here's a first person view. Low beams with the fog lights. Let's go ahead and turn the fog lights off so you can see the difference there. Okay, so now it's low beams, high beams. low beams high beams this is across the field so it's every, there's no reflecting surfaces down there but trees so I can actually see the light hitting the trees a little bit might not be able to pick it up on camera I'm not sure okay so now we'll, let's see what the, the, the close-up pattern looks like on these Tacomas over here high beams low beams so you can see it has a cutoff point there to focus the beams uh, below everybody's eye level, that's the idea anyway. And when you put the high beams on, it's all go. Okay, so here's the side of my car. I'm right up on it right now. High beams, low beams, so I'm backing up. So you can see the pattern at different distances here. If I had a big, huge wall to shine it on, it would be ideal, but I think you can get the idea right now of the pattern.
Okay, so let's look at the cargo area. And just right off the bat, I want to point out that approaching the vehicle, the tag lights do shine on the ground a little bit, kind of serving as an approach light, so that's pretty neat. Okay, so opening this up. Now it has black carpeting, so the camera doesn't focus all that great on black carpeting in the dark. So I put some objects in here, some boxes, just to kind of give you an idea of what the lighting is like with this one light here on the right side. So you notice, since it's only on one side, you do have some shadows to the left. So over in this area, it's dark when you have that light only on one side. It, you know, whatever you have in the middle is going to cast shadows on the other side. But it does have, to my eyes, just I know the camera probably isn't picking it up perfectly, but to my eyes, the uh, it's, it's fairly decent back here. It's not as bad as maybe the camera's uh, showing. But I think it would have been nicer if it had two lights back here or you know something like that on different one on each side or something but uh, as it is right now that's what the cargo light is all about you do have a little bit of spillover light from the second row light which you can turn off if you want to so you kind of have to know where the button is to lower the hatch here otherwise because it's not illuminated but it's over in this area let me show you what it looks like with the night vision Okay, so let's start looking at the inside, starting here with the second row. The inside of the back door is dark, nothing there, no backlit buttons. Now, it does have black seats, so it doesn't really, the camera's not really doing it justice. Um, I can see fairly well back here. I had to put some boxes just for something for the camera to focus on. The illumination is coming from the center dome light, and it's illuminating the seats quite well and it illuminates the floorboard actually a little bit too but like i said with a black interior the camera doesn't really pick it up well but it does have one dome light okay so moving on here into the front the inside of the driver's side door has one backlit illuminated button and that's for the power window for the driver I guess that's uh, the rest of them are dark, but I guess that orients yourself, you know, it orients to where the other ones are once you know where that one is. So it has two lights here in the front for dome lights, and in the rear, you have the dome light there for the back seats. That's the only illumination for the seats, the floor, everything. So with the black interior, it's hard to really tell, but uh, hopefully, you'll be able to get an idea of what it looks like. Okay, sitting in the driver's seat, you can see we have the first person view going on here. But I have the door open. Let's go ahead and shut the door, and it'll turn off the interior lights, and let's see what we're left with. So quite a bit of backlit buttons here. So we have the one on the door for the side, for the window. Have buttons over here. It actually has automatic high beams. Steering wheel has the buttons. All backlit. Here's your gauges. There's the touch screen with the illuminated physical buttons on the outside. And shows you where the knobs are climate control and then down here where your shifter and some more buttons but that's about it except for this SOS illuminated button up here for roadside assistance up here at the top let me turn the night vision on so we could point out the rest of the darker areas so you can see the illuminated area here but then down here uh, where the storage compartment is is completely dark and you see all the shifter and some buttons but the cup holders are dark and in this compartment is all dark has charge ports in there but no illumination same thing with the glove compartment 
completely dark. The floorboard, everything. Now, I think what this video is turning into being is a, a, uh, a justification. So it does have the lights and mirrors up here. A justification for the lighting package that Toyota offers. Toyota offers a, a lighting package. I don't. I hadn't seen it yet. I'd only heard about it, and it. I guess it helps eliminate maybe the glove compartment or different areas. I don't know. That's definitely worth checking into because there's a lot of dark spaces in this vehicle. The fact that the glove compartment doesn't have a light in it that should you know make it would be worth it just getting that. But um, but yeah. You can see over here. Let's go ahead and adjust. Let me turn the night shot, night vision off so we can see when we turn down. And you see a little flickering in the lights, so that means they're powered by LEDs. So I'm just using the dimmer switch just to give you an idea. That's brightest, and then it goes down to really dim, but I can still see it good. So that's the dimmest it goes. You can adjust all this, all these backlit buttons, even the ones on the steering wheel, change, and around the the. Uh... Now, when I put it down below the full blast on the dimmer switch, it cuts down the touch screen, but the rest the rest of it doesn't adjust it. It just goes from full blast to another setting. And you see that flickering shows that it's powered by LEDs. Okay, so there you have it. 2019 completely redesigned Toyota RAV4. Really excited about this one. So this has been the night video. You can check my channel for the daytime video. I'll have that out in the next day or so. So I'm filming this before the full video, but it will be out very, very shortly. Uh, so it'll be the full detailed walk around overview ultimate in-depth look at the 2019 RAV4 So this is only the night video so you can check my channel out for more content on this and other vehicles Thank you for watching and thank you to Sparks Toyota here in Myrtle Beach for allowing me to show off this awesome vehicle See you guys next time